guys welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to show you how to make zones and how to uh, adjust the settings on them so first you're going to take your uh, marker blocks you want to have the zone at least too high otherwise it doesn't work of course you can go back in and edit the size to make it less than that if you want and then you mark out just as if you were going to fill the area or something let's make my zone a little bit taller and when you push down on the d-pad it opens up your menu go to zones and then you're going to go to new zone and you're going to name it whatever you want let's say that this is your spawn so you're going to name it spawn then you've got your spawn I have another zone but focusing on this one uh, if you clear everything on your screen and push down on the d-pad in zones you can actually see what the zones are like the one I just made is white because it's a spawn and the other one is all around the world so it's kind of weird but inside of the zones when you edit it there's a bunch of different stuff you can set it if players spawn or not spawning makes it white otherwise it's not you can choose if they can fly in the zone that's useful for like let's say you've got a challenge map but people with robotic keep joining and flying you turn that off they can't fly you can make it if players can attack each other or not you can also make it if mobs will spawn in that zone. <clears throat> These are natural mobs. I'm not sure if it cancels out for mob spawners, but it's. I know it does it for natural mobs where it would be just like nighttime and everything starts spawning. You can choose if players can build in it. <clears throat> this is useful for mining servers and stuff like that. Uh, or if you just don't want people building in one part of your map, you turn it off and they can't they can't build in there. And then you've got this other section. What this is is right here is the coordinates of the zone. And let's say you wanted it to be one tall. All you got to do is take the height and make it one tall. Now the zone should be one tall. Oh, it's too tall. <laughs> but that's how you would edit the coordinates of it. You can make it as small as one block. You can make it as big as the whole world. Then you can choose the builder. What this is, is um, pretty much it's like the edit thing, the edit section, except for who's building, not just if they can or not. You can set it to no builder, you can set it to yourself, you can set it to any player in the game, but you can't type in a custom gamer tag. Then you've got entry script and exit script. <clears throat> entry script is when they walk into the zone it will run whatever script you pick exit is when they walk out of the zone then you've got combat level difference what this is is let's say you've got PvP on <clears throat> and you've got skills on and there's this level 78 destroying everybody uh, if you make this level difference let's say 10 it, um, everybody has to be within 10 levels above or below a player to attack them so if you're a level 50, somebody has to be level 40 um, all the way to level 60 in order to fight you or for you to fight them. Otherwise, no damage is dealt and it's kind of peaceful. Then you've got the speed multiplier. It's just whatever speed the zone is. So one is always the default speed. And if you had a, at a higher number, you go faster. The most you can go is 10. And if you add a decimal, it goes um, even slower. So if you put .01, it's pretty much like you're not going anywhere. As you can see, I'm kind of not moving at all. And then the last feature you've got for the zones, oh no, the second to last feature is the gravity. This is the same thing as the speed, except the higher the number, the heavier the player is. So if I set it to 10, nobody's jumping at all. If I set it to .01, um, then everybody will be flying into the air. <clears throat> and then one as default as always. And then the escape option. What this does is if it's enabled, players can escape like normally. If it's disabled, players cannot escape when they're in that zone. So if I go to try to escape with player, it, it doesn't even let me go to the menu to escape. That's useful for like if you've got this room that they have to find the way out or maybe you just don't want players to escape so the whole map is a non-escape map which actually might be pretty interesting to see
But anyway, that's how to manage your zones and edit them. Unfortunately, you can't make a shape like you could with the line tool. It's just always a square or a rectangle. And, well, that's how to do zones, and thanks for watching.